Many of you know I'm a big fan of using perennials and shrubs in my container mixes. And often I'm getting asked, well, how do you overwinter them? You know, bring them back next spring. And basically, you just put the planter in a garage or shed or someplace that's going to allow it to freeze. You want it to freeze, the plants go dormant for the winter. And then bring it back out in the spring. The thing you want to avoid is an area where it's going to be freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing. That's not good for the plant. It sends a mixed message to the plants. So in the spring when you bring them back out they're going to look something like this here. I usually leave my plant material on over the winter and then in the spring I just go ahead and I trim off all the plant material that's on here that's going to get thrown away. This is a digiplexus I've got in the front and one here in the back. Then I just clean up the old material that's on the planter here itself. And then the shrub, you want to shape that back into shape however you might decide that you like it. This here is a um, nine bark called Little Devil. Very upright, dark foliage plant that I really like in this container. And uh, so I'm trimming it back down so it's not overly tall. Generally I trim it back to how much ever height that it's going to grow over that summer. This thing here will grow 6 to 12 inches during the summer. So I cut it back 6 to 12 inches so it's back to the height that I'm looking for come spring. And because like I said I like this to be a more columnar look to it. I'm kind of trimming off some of the side shoots also at the same time. And you don't have to be real fussy on a plant like this here because it's a pretty steady grower. Just get it into some nice shape. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but it is starting to uh, kick out some new leaves already on here. Got some old plant leaves down in the thing. Basically what you do to your perennial bed or your perennial gardens out there, clean them up the same way. And then when you're ready to put some other annuals in there, which I like to mix annuals in, all you need to do is dig down in your soil, plant your annuals, and you'll have a beautiful mixed planter all summer long.